Hey, what's going on, everybody? Hope you're having a good day so far. And today, I'm going to be showing you how to make a Blender thumbnail or a Fortnite 3D thumb thumbnail. If you don't know what those are, uh, I'll show you some in the screen right now. This is what you're looking at. Uh, but if you've been wanting to learn how to make a 3D thumbnail, then hopefully this helps you out a little bit. I'm just going to be all going over the basics and like how to pose, uh, how to like put the lighting and everything. So what you're gonna what you're gonna wanna do first is go on obviously just go on you wanna download the app so just go on Blender 2.80 that's the one you need if you download 2.79 it's not gonna work so you just click the first link is this Blender once you have Blender downloaded just go open the Blender wherever you have it I have mine right here so once it's open this is what you should see Blender you should see this. If you got the right version, this is what you should be looking at. So, if you want to know how to get the models, uh, just I would um, I'll make a folder for the ones I have. Obviously, none of these models are mine, so um, I'll obviously put who they're from. But you could go download some of these models. They're gonna be in the description below. I'll make a folder. You could just download any, whichever one you want. Uh, yeah, you could just and once you have the model you want, just click on uh, which one should we? I'm gonna use a fish stick model for just to uh, show y'all. The basics so just uh, click the file and then put open blender file and this should load up if it looks great don't worry it should load in a little bit but if it doesn't load you're gonna go want to go to the top right you're gonna see this you're gonna see four circles if it's on this one it's gonna look like this so if it looks like this all you have to do is just go to the top right and click the third circle and it should be right here uh, and then the fourth circle is just so whenever you add your lighting this how you can see how it looks you can just take this off and you can see the full model as you can see it looks dark so whatever you're modeling whenever you're posting the character don't have this setting on because it's gonna look very bad make sure you have this one while you're posting okay uh, also before you start modeling make sure to go on this thing right here this little camera thing and make sure you have cycles on if you have EV it's gonna look weird uh, you can't see it right now because I really don't have the lighting but uh, make sure you have cycles on. Cycles is just the best one. Okay. So you have the fish stick right here. And let's try to get some lighting. You go to the top bar. And you're going to see shading. So you go here. Okay. So once you're in shading, you're not going to be able to see the model. You should Sometimes you should be able to see it on here. But you're going to want to click this thing right here. It says object. Go down to world. Click use notes. So this is what's going to pop up. You're going to see this background. World output. What you're going to want to do to add the world lighting, just click add. Go down to texture and on texture, put environment texture. So you're going to want to get one of these. So once you're on here, you can, once you're on here, go, uh, go back to your Google. Okay. So once you're in Google, just search up HDRI Haven and then click, it should be the first one that pops up. So once you're here, click HDRI at the top and you should be able to download any HDR right here. Just you just click on it. I would come. Uh, well, this depends on your PC. If you have uh, not really that good of a PC, click 1K. Or if you can actually, but for mine, I click 4K. So that depending on your computer, you just click one. If you have a really good PC, you just click 16K. But it's 407 megabytes, so it's gonna take a while to download. I usually go for 4K or 2K. So just go one of these. So once you have it downloaded, okay, let's just download this one. Okay, it should download. So once it's done, just show in folder, and you you're gonna want to make a special folder for these, just so you be able to find them easier. So I already have mine. Uh, models. HDRI. So I have all my HDRIs right here. So just make a special folder for those, just so you can find them easier. So you go back to Blender, right here, and then once you're back in Blender, once you're in this screen, click open, and then. HDRI, it's, your recent should pop up right here, but if they don't, it's going to be go, go through a whole process. So just try to find those. And yeah, once we're in HDRI, we're going to click, which one did we download? Okay, we downloaded Urban Street, so it's right here. So we're just going to click it. We're going to left click it, and then left click Open File. And then once you're here, just connect it to Background. Go back to Layout, and then just click the circle at the top. And if this pops up in the back, don't worry about it. Just go to right here, to the little camera again. Go down to film and click transparent. And that should take it off. So after that, to post, just click your um, just click your model. 
go to the top left and just go down to post mode right here and if nothing shows just click this thing right here show overlays and this should pop up right here so we're just gonna do like um, let's just move his head down a little bit like that you can select all the bones with this button it's just so like you can select one bone just select any bone so just, we're just gonna click the head move his head down a little bit maybe tilt it okay and then just move his arm you're gonna want to make sure to move at least almost e yeah almost every bone in the body just so it doesn't look too stiff you're gonna want to move the spine the spine is very important because if you just if you don't move the spine at all your model is gonna look bad because it's gonna be all stiff so make sure to play with the, play around with these how they, uh, if they look good yeah just play around with these let's just make it like that okay there's there's our model so once we have that go back to the top left and click object mode it should be back you should be back to here click add and go down to light and click area if you don't see it just click this thing again right here so just move the light on top of your character just go to the side and then move behind the character and just rotate it with this tool right here rotate it so it's facing just facing straight because we're gonna move it down a little bit so once it's like that just move it straight uh, okay right there and then we're gonna move it to its left well let's uh, we're gonna size it a little bit just so the lighting wouldn't be too big so like this and just a little bit like that okay and then rotate it to where it's hitting the character so we're gonna put one on that side and then just right click it copy objects and paste and just left click again so now you can move this there we go and now we can just move this like that and now you, you're you gonna have two lights on the side of it so it looks like glare if you're gonna have like a sun like you if your background has a sun you're gonna want to do this because it looks like the sun's actually hitting it but if you uh if you have like a dark background then don't use that because then it'll just look weird so this is what it looks like I'm not sure you'll be able to, yeah, you can kind of see it, you can see the glare from the back, like that. Okay, so this is this is what our model looks like, it looks pretty good. So, well not the pose, because the pose it just looks, looks bad, but. Okay, so now you're going to want to go to add, again, and click camera. And then you can see a box popped up right here. If a box pops up, like it's tiny or you can't see it, it just means your model is too big. So all you have to do to resize the model is just click it, and then... This should pop up and you can just resize it to whatever you want. But for ours, we just click Ctrl C because I don't want to mess that up. So camera and then right here. And as you can see, the camera's back there. So if we press camera, you're not going to be able to see anything. So we're going to want to move the camera to maybe just right there just so we can just see its face. Okay, to see the camera, you're going to click this button right here. It's the little camera button. It should be very obvious. So just click it. And then you can see it right there. And you can move it right here. As you can see, I'm in the moving tool. And I'm moving the camera. Or if you want to rotate it, just like this. Um, you can also move it with this thing right here. Go to the um, to the right side of the screen. And click right here. And you can put you can add depth of field and everything. Okay. And then you can just move this. Like that. And you can actually move it like that too. So once you have that, just click back on the thing so you can look at how it's going to be. And that's how it's going to render. Okay. But once you're on this screen, uh, click on this again. And depending on your PC, if you have like a, like a, let's just say like a, like a bad PC, you're going to want to keep this on at least 200. If you have a really, like an average PC, put 400. And anything higher than that, you're just going to have like a really good PC. Anything higher than 400. Well, 500 could be good and 600 could be good, but anything above that, you're going to need a really good PC or else it's going to take forever to render. But we're going to keep it at 400 because my PC is average. So, once you have that, once you have that set, what you're going what you're gonna to want to do is click this right here. And at the bottom, the very bottom of this picture thing right here, it's going to say denoising. If you don't know what that is, it basically just makes the character like, so you don't see pixels on it. So you're not gonna you're not gonna see any pixels on this hopefully, but sometimes if you have very bad lighting, it's gonna be mess up your character. 
it's gonna make like the its skin just it's gonna deform your skin. So you're gonna make want to make sure you have really good lighting. Okay, once it has finished, this is what it's gonna look like. All you have to do is go to image, save as, and just click wherever you want to save it. It should pop up to the left right here. So just click. I have my I'm gonna save my to renders and I'm just gonna put tutorial and just click enter to put the name and just click save as image and this is how it should be so you can just go look at your pictures mine is gonna be right here render and right here tutorial and that's how it should look like and yeah that's how it's gonna look like if you want me to do a tutorial on the photoshop part then just make sure to leave a like and subscribe uh, I'm not gonna do a, uh, the photoshop tutorial on this one because my camera is dying I would have but also if you want me to uh, show you how to import and export models uh, so you can put uh, your custom models into here into blender then make sure to leave a like if this video gets 20 likes I'll make a video on how to uh, import the models so yeah that's gonna be it for today I hope you guys enjoyed I hope I really hope this helped you out a little bit and yeah I'll see you guys um, Friday